So if you've been following this channel for some time now, you probably know one of my favorite hobbies is covering mobile displays. I just think it works so well with mobile devices. Well, this is the brand new Asus Zen Screen Go. This one's a bit different from the one we reviewed last year. This now packs a 7,800 milliamp battery. That means you don't have to drain this battery here. It also means you can use it with your favorite Android phone. Today, I'll give you a quick tour and tell you what I think. Stay tuned. The Zen Screen Go features a 15.6 inch display. It is full HD, obviously non-touch as well. Color accuracy is pretty decent on it. You do get a bunch of color modes on this for presets, including sRGB, theater, and a bright mode and all this. And you can actually go through and change all those yourself too. So you can do all sorts of neat presets. There's also a blue light filter built in there with different degrees. So it's really good for nighttime usage and reading as well. The device itself is very light. It almost feels hollow. And that's actually pretty impressive considering the size of the battery that's built into this. Again, at 7,800 milliamp, which you've been following smartphones. It's about twice as much about as what many smartphones have these days. Looking at the device itself here, we do have a single USB-C port on the side. So that's gonna power everything. You also have two buttons here to control everything, including the menus and choosing selection there and you have a power button here as well to the right side now if you're curious about why there's a big old hole here it's not for a keychain it's for the pen they actually include a asus zen screen pen in the box and the reason is you're supposed to put it through here and now you can use it as a kickstand it totally works it's just the weirdest design i've ever seen they did this on the previous version and they're doubling down on it in this one so you can actually put it both ways and use it that way as well and if you notice the screen rotated and that's because this actually has a gyroscope on the inside so you can use it in this mode as well it seems a little strange but if you're presenting a list to a client or something like that and you want to have that orientation hey it's there you can disable that if you don't want it though still a nice option to have now to protect it during transport, it does come with this smart cover. It's a little bit heavy. Overall, the whole thing together is just under two pounds or 850 grams. It's not the lightest system out there, but it's actually not that bad either, mostly because of its size and it's distributed pretty well. This thing is full of magnets and it's used for an origami type setup. So you can do different positions with it based on how you fold it, but it does protect both sides. If you remember HP's version, didn't have a back cover, it was just a front cover. So it was a little bit lighter and thinner because of that. The Asus one though, will protect the whole device during transport. Now on the other end of that Type-C plug, well, is another Type-C connector. That's not too strange here, but what is cool, you do also get in the box a Type-A converter, so you just attach this here, and now you can use it with all sorts of other devices, including the Surface Pro 5, Surface Pro 6, Surface Laptop 1 and 2, basically any device that doesn't have a Type-C port, and I find that very useful, especially since I'm a big Surface fan. Now, in order to use this with those devices, you do need to download and install some Asus software it's just a single driver and there's an optional applet you can download too which gives you all the menu commands you find on the device itself you can do through software and that's actually super useful as hitting those buttons is a little well if you ever adjusted a monitor through buttons you know what the feeling is still this works very well if you're using windows 10 in s mode you're going to need to pop out of that in order to install these drivers so that's a bit unfortunate but i'm at least glad that they had the option to use this so again the hp version which i really like doesn't give you this choice so it's really good for those who are still in legacy systems but want a forward-looking one as well. Now, one of the cool changes with this year's models, because of that full battery, it means you can use it with Android devices. Previously, this was too much of a drain on Android. It couldn't just power the display and do the battery at the same time. Now you don't have that issue. So this operates a little bit differently. When you plug it into a PC, it gives you the option. Do you want to drain the battery of the display itself, or do you want the PC to power it? When you're using the phone, the only option is it's going to come from the display, and that's so it can all work together. What's cool with the Note 9, of course, it uses Samsung DeX, so I got basic basically a full desktop experience here just using the Note 9. Now, if you just have a regular Android phone, that's fine as well. You can plug it in. You need to download a third-party app. And once you do that, you just set it up and it'll just use it as a normal Android phone. It'll just be blown up on a big screen, but you do landscape and all sorts of stuff. It's a neat feature to have. If you think about this as a business person, you want to do a quick PowerPoint presentation. Well, this is all you're going to need to do that. It's a very useful feature. And well, it opens all sorts of doors up. You can even do a Bluetooth keyboard to this and kind of make this a full portable PC, which you know, that's a really unique experience. 
Speaking of battery life, Asus estimates around four hours of battery usage for a standard laptop at 220 nits. I'm getting also around 300 nits of brightness on this device, so it's a pretty bright screen. I really love the color accuracy, and I just think it looks really sharp too. But yeah, four hours ain't too bad. It's about what I was averaging as well. And it's actually a pretty good usage scenario if you think about this while you're traveling. That means you won't even touch your laptop's battery. It makes things a lot easier. All right, so the Asus ZenScreen Go MB16AP, it's one heck of a name. It's also a really nice device. Now, 15.6 inch is a little big for me. I prefer HP's 14 inch size, but this is the only device that will connect up to a Surface Pro or Surface Laptop 2, and that's actually really important if you're in this ecosystem and you don't have a Type-C port. Overall, though, it's a really cool device. I love being able to use this without draining the battery of the device I'm connecting to, or just being able to use it with my smartphone. I think it's a really clever design. Now, Asus does has another model that's coming out that supports Pen, too, which opens up a whole new avenue of new concepts and ideas that we can work with. But if you're interested in a mobile display, well, this is definitely one to take a look at. Now, $300 is not cheap at all. But then again, this is gonna be mostly geared for businesses and enterprise use, not necessarily a consumer, where you probably won't find much value in this. It'd be very cool to have, but unless you're traveling or presenting a lot, well, this won't serve a lot of purpose. So it's a really neat device, and I'm really interested to see where this technology takes us in the next few years, but I have to give the Asus Zen screen go a thumbs up. All right, so that's a quick look at the Asus Zen Screen Go. Now, if you have any questions or comments about this device, make sure you leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.